Right, hello, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be revisiting something that I did probably about a month ago now. It was a video that you guys really enjoyed. It was the one that when I enter the car, it says like a certain thing. I had mine obviously saying hello. I've set that up for quite a while now and I really like it. It works really well. So why am I revisiting the video? Well, there's been an iPhone update and in the new iPhone update, they've updated shortcuts. So you can now have sound clips, which is great. And it means that we can now have, instead of just the Siri voice, which I was using before, saying hello, welcome to the car or anything. So now we can have absolutely any sound we want. So I'm just gonna quickly talk you through how to do that on the computer. It's super quick, so rather like the first video. and then we'll go and test them out in my car. So you're going to want to start off by getting some kind of software that downloads YouTube videos. I definitely recommend this one, it's completely free and it's the one that I personally use for my YouTube videos but also it's going to work really well for what we're doing today. Right, so once you've downloaded that or any kind of software that downloads audio, you're going to want to go to YouTube. So I've got a tab open here with good old, I swear to god I'm not a weirdo, I don't know why the hell YouTube recommends this stuff to me. Right, so let's find a sound clip that's short because we don't want it going on forever when we plug the car in, so... Hello there. Brilliant, that should work perfectly. Right, so I'm gonna open up the video downloader now. You can see my test one there with the wow. Right, so they all work differently to all these downloading softwares, but this one you just copy the link into the software, like that, super easy. That's why I like using this one, to be honest, it just straight up does it. Change it from video to extract audio, and then once you've got the extract audio, you probably want the best quality, because it's taking up like no storage whatsoever. So just hit it the best quality, and you want it to be an MP3. If it's not an MP3, it won't work, so just make sure it's an MP3 file. Right, so obviously put it somewhere where you can find it easily, but also you want to name it something easy, because later on when we type in the name it's really word sensitive so you've got to get it bang on so make sure it's something nice and easy that you're going to be able to remember later especially if you've got a lot of them so we're going to go with obi one here right so now we've got that we're going to extract should take a second there we go and it's that easy with this uh, software so now you've got that saved on your computer the next step is to transfer it to your phone there's a couple of ways you can do this I'm just going to use because I've got an iPhone I'm going to use iCloud but you could always just connect your phone straight to the computer and do it like that you're going to want to open up your iCloud account uh, and then go to OneDrive and once in OneDrive, you're going to want to find this right here, which is shortcuts. So you're going to double click on the folder. You can see I've got my test one there that I did. Now we're just going to want to open up the file there and just drag across what we've downloaded into here. And then we'll test it. Why not? Right, so that works really well. So now what we're going to do is take you off here and put you onto my phone. Right, so now we're actually on my iPhone. So what you're going to want to do is open up shortcuts. Right, and then you're going to want to go on automation, which is the one in the middle, and then click on the little plus at the top. Create personal automation, right, and then CarPlay just there. And then we're going to do ours for when CarPlay connects. Right, so now we're on here, you're going to want to go Add Action, and then Get File. Right, and click on the first one there, Get File. Okay, now you're going to want to Show Documents Picker, tick that off. And then right here where it says Example Text, you're going to want to go on to your Shortcuts folder inside your files on your, so on your phone, so open up files, go on shortcuts, obviously like we did in the computer, and then there's the shortcut that we downloaded there, the OB1, we're going to download that now onto the phone. Hello there. Hello there. So that's working. Right, so what you're going to want to do now is just hold the file and then go info, and this will tell you about the file, so we know it's an MP3. So what we need to do is type in that exact, so OB1.MP3, I'm just going to copy and paste it, and then that's pasted in there now. So that's pretty much it for that step. So now we're just going to press new and then play sound. There you go, play sound. And then we'll run the automation, see if it works. Hello there. There we go, it's working. So that is literally it. That's all you have to do. So now uh, next. So the final thing you're going to want to do is make sure you tick off ask before running. Don't ask, because otherwise it won't work. So make sure you tick that off and then done. You're done. It's as easy as that, so let's go and try it out in the 86, and you know what? I'm going to make a couple more, so I've got some ideas, so let's get to making a few more and trying them all out in the 86. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> so as you can see, that works brilliantly. Yeah, let's go through a couple more. Why not? That one was awful. Big brother, I want you to give me your big juicy thick and drench me with your hot sticky until I get Boost! Boost! Oh shit, here we go again. Hey. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. 
Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Not quite. <laughs> Alright, so basically, make sure you choose something short because it seems to play the whole thing. I love my voxel Corsa. No, I'm out. Oh, yes, Daddy. Right, so Jake sent this one, so we'll give it a go. This is the one I definitely want every time I get in my car. It's the holy grail <laughs> attention. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, they worked really well, to be honest. Much better with a proper sound clip rather than just Siri saying something. Anyway, let's get back to my house and I'll end the video. <whistles> Yee. Right, so we're back in my room. That's pretty much gonna be it for the video. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time and actually let you guys decide if you can be bothered. If you, if you knew a clip online on YouTube, that you want me to put as my car intro. I'll let you guys decide it. You can choose whatever you want. I don't care this time. Just make it whatever, as lewd as you want, as anything as you want. And I'll put it in the next video, as long as it's not like racist or anything. I'll put it in the next video as well. So you guys get to choose what's in my next video. Leave a comment and I will do it. I did it with the last one, the, the Rick Roll. This one's, obviously, I can do it even better now because we can have any sound we want. Absolutely anything you guys want. And every time I jump in my car, I'll be hearing it. I leave it on for a full week and I genuinely do. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later. Yeah.